Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Stalker Anomaly from 1.51 to 1.52. So one thing that I want you to do, instead of upgrading what you already have, uh, your game that is already modded, I want you to install a new 1.51, especially if you have uh, enough space on your PC. It's around about uh, 20 gigabytes, so it's not that big. So what I'm going to do, we're going to download a new Stock Anomaly 1.51, fresh, verify that everything works, and then I'm going to show you how to patch that up. And then we're also going to check that again. So let's go to ModDB and I'll show you how to download the Stock Anomaly 1.51 first. So all you have to do is go to ModDB, right? Just type, uh, if, you go, if you're on Google, I'll actually show you. Uh, stalker anomaly mod db and that's the same website as this one so you go there right and you scroll down you scroll down you have all of, all this information this is the game right here just download the game and this is the patch so first download the game right install it somewhere you like make sure that uh, it's in a it's in a good location don't put it in your windows folder okay just put it somewhere safe and install it right and now I'm, I'm just downloading it right now it's not gonna take too long but I'll show you how to also verify the file so I'll see you there okay so it's downloaded as you can see and now all you have to do is put it like this on so this is the game it's being extracted in a folder. That's how you install Stalker Anomaly. Nothing, you know, nothing too complicated. And we just have to wait a little bit until it's finished. So as you can see, it has been installed. So now I'm gonna load the Anomaly Launcher. Very important that you load this thing up. And we're going to check, we're going to check that everything is fine. Make sure that you use your uh, correct direct X here. So I'm just gonna go, ahead and verify installation and by the way while you're doing this make sure to subscribe and leave a like for this video it will really help my channel and uh, yeah just sit back and relax and wait for this thing to finish and make sure that it doesn't come up with uh, any errors so i'll see you when it, this thing has finished as well so as you can see uh verification successful uh, make sure that this thing is on delete uh, shader cache that's pretty normal, first time, and just load the game up. So as you can see, uh, I have installed Stalker Anomaly 1.51, it works, you can see, and now I just have to download the patch. So this is where a lot of people are, are getting confused. You download the patch first, and it's very similar to how you install the game, basically. I have a patch here, it's only one gigabyte uncompressed or I actually think it's compressed one gigabyte yeah so we wait for the download to start and I'll see you when this thing is finished okay so a patch has been downloaded you have a text file here this basically tells you what has been changed and these are all the files here and folders so this is where a lot of people get confused all you have to do really is select everything like this Go to extract and extract it exactly where you installed your stalker anomaly. I think you can also drag and drop this. Let's see, can I drag and drop this like this? Yeah, I can. And you can also do that as well. You can just drag and drop it on directly on your stalker anomaly where you have your launcher, you have your game data. Make sure you don't drag and drop inside a game folder or you know the tools folder, just you know, somewhere here on where there's a blank space. And that basically, you're basically just extracting it on your, uh, on your game. And as you can see, it's almost finished. And that's it. That's really so now. You get this prompt here and Windows is telling me, do you want to replace these files? Because yeah, that's what a patch is basically. You have a bunch of files that are going to replace another bunch of files. And they have new data inside them. And press yes, it's 1.81 gigabytes. And that's done. And as you can see, you can tell that you changed something because you have the, you know, you have the date. 
So now I'm just gonna launch this. Very important here. You see here, delete shader cache. We're gonna turn this on again because I know for a fact that some stuff like, you know, gas mask uh, shader and, you know, things like that, those have been updated. So we need to re-delete them again. Very important that you pre-select this. So, you know, you can also verify the files again if you want. I'm not gonna do that though. Just delete uh, shader cache and play. And here we are. It says stock anomaly 1.52. Let's test it. Let's go. Let's go. The, the music is a little bit high because you know the fault settings, whatever. Uh, let's start like this and see what happens. Also, when uh, the game is loading, you can see stock anomaly 1.52. So now, uh, while the game is loading up, first time. Uh, very important. If you're going to mod this game with the mods that you already have, don't, you know, chuck all your all the mods uh, right uh, right inside. Oh my god. My mouse is super sensitive. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is my mouse so sensitive? But here we are. It works. It's completely vanilla. And there's an anomaly and I'm getting sucked in. Oh no! Okay. I'm okay. And yeah, welcome to Stock Anomaly 1.52. Uh, well, I hope you guys uh, found that helpful to upgrade your uh, 1.51 to 1.52. Like I said, make sure that you don't, you know, uh, chuck in all the mods that you have. Because some things have changed. For example, uh, backpacks have some different code now, clothes have some different code as well. The so, um, biggest problem for me was the exosuits. I had uh, an exosuit mod and it didn't work at all with the new 1.52 and I had to modify the files quite a lot. As you know, I do modify my files sometimes. And uh, if, you know, the, if the guy that made the mod is not available, I have to like find a way to fix the mod myself. So. But yeah, uh, this is new, the new weather system that I've been working on. It's, uh, it's a bit fantasy, it's a bit spooky, it's a bit, uh, you know, very stalker anomaly uh, friendly oriented, basically. And I can actually show you. This is rain right now. I always start to train, I don't know why. But this is rain. You can kind of see we have different shades like uh, weather there. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, we have making this new weather system. It's not that perfect. You know, for example, here the sun is way too yellow. We need to fix that. Like what? What is? What is this? What is this? Like something out of Alien or something. But I, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to fix this. Looks okay for, for noon though, let's see, for noon, that's not bad for noon. Oh yeah, I need to fix that a little bit. Uh, some tweaks here and there, but that looks beautiful. And at night, we have a blue moon. Is it? Where's the moon? Wait, where's the moon? Oh, there it is. Like, bloop, bloop. Let's try this. There you go. As you can see, it's a little bit blue. And then it depends on... I have three clear weathers, right? Because Stalker normally tends to chuck a lot of rain at you, which is annoying. This one is clear two. This is clear three. You can say the moon is a little bit different there. So it's not always, you know, the same blue moon or bright blue moon. This is clear four. And then... This is cloudy and dark. Cloudy and dark. Uh, I'm actually... First, the, I need night vision. Give, give me a second. Let's see, let's see how it looks with night vision, because I didn't test that yet. Don't the night vision. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It doesn't look, you know... You know, when you turn on the night vision, you see that fuzzy sky. It's, it's really annoying. I really hate that. I had to fix... The coloring of the sky is so annoying though. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. You can, as you can see, you can see some clouds there. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna bump up the brightness on my video editor, but that's fine. 
Let's see here. Cloud. Uh, cloudy one. Cloudy one. As you can see, cloudy one. You can see a little bit of a moon there. It's fine. It's gonna look like this on night vision. Pretty cool. Yeah, I've been testing this uh, new weather system that I'm making. This is fog one, and I try to make the fog like this. You can see it's a bit foggy, right? Starts starts a bit foggy, and then kind of recedes like this. Look at that! Look at that image! My God! Are you sure this game is 20 years old? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. How cool this looks. The atmosphere is, in is incredible. Uh, let's do this. Alright, so this is at night. Oops. Then in the morning. Is at the morning. Get a little bit of sun. Now this is fog one, right? Well, if you go fog two, this is fog two, and I think I made this a little bit different. I made I made it a little bit more blue, as you can see, a little bit green here and there, you know, gives you a bit more horror game feel. Then at night, I'm not sure if this is realistic, so you know, comment down below. At night, this is at night. You can kinda see. Then it gets dark, then it gets bright again, so you get you know get a little bit more light uh, at night. Night at night. Partially partially this is partially cloudy. You can see it's pretty nice. You get this white sun. You get this uh, white sun a lot in my country when you know there's a uh, going to rain. So I was like, uh, maybe this is how it should be. You can see it's really nice at night. It's not super dark, but uh, I do have like certain certain weather weather systems uh, are a bit darker at night than others. So. So if you're playing, right, you can be like, oh, okay, I can kind of see at night and can maybe risk, you know, going from point A to point B. Yeah, by the way, I'm not using uh, uh, any bloom effect. With the bloom, it looks like this. Looks like this, yeah. That's with bloom, right? But do I do have a little bit of HDR in my uh, reshade, so yeah might look a little bit different uh, partial cloudy then we have rain we have three rains this is rain number one they have different intensities as well and they have this effect here it's like foggy it goes from like a little bit of green then it goes orange then it uh, darkens again and at, as you can see it's different intensity at different hours for example, here it's not too intense, but then you get around midnight and it starts getting more intense. So, you know, it, rain is not always the same. As you can see here, it almost stopped. Yeah, that's how, that's how I made it. Uh, rain 2. Rain 2 is a bit more normal, a bit less intense. And you can see a lot better. Look at that. Look at that atmosphere. Looks crazy. Also gonna make like a fake blowout weather. Like you look at it and you're like, you're like uh, is that a blowout? You know, is a blowout coming or something? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that as well. Rain tree is quite normal as well. Then we have Storm 1, which is quite intense, quite dark. 
And you have this uh, foggy effect as well. Which is very scary, by the way. Then, as you can see, you can't really see raindrops. I need to fix that. Fix that. Then at night, it looks something like this. And if you look at the sky, it's not, you know, pixelated. You know, it, look, it looks it looks as it should be. Then we have Storm 2, which is stormy weather. Get a little bit of, you know, lightning here and there and a little bit of rain. But it's not a lot. It's not like, you know, it's more like a scary weather effect. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to fix this weather system that I'm making, it's still, still not perfect. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to experiment something here, which we're going to show you. I don't think this has been ever been uh, done on YouTube so far. We're going to play story mode with warfare mode. And this is because, this is possible because, you know, I have warfare A life installed. And uh, this is really crazy. People are like, oh, if you do this, it's really crazy. It's very dynamic. You don't know what's going to happen. So, you know, it's very entertaining. So, yeah, I'm going to test the weather system. We're going to test story mode with warfare mode, see what happens. And I hope to see you guys in about a few days. I think I'm going to start uh, next Friday trying to do this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And I hope you found the tutorial for you know upgrading 1.51 to 1.552 uh, useful and i'll see you for these new episodes on stalker anomaly bye and thanks for watching